Hey everyone, how's it going? So I am here with the Tesla Model 3. I will be replacing the cabin filter today and using the HEPA N98 active carbon air filtration. So this is compatible with the Model 3 and Y from Tomei. It comes in two pack. Let me show you what's inside this box. So very cool feature that Tomei offers is that this HEPA filter actually allows more airflow through than the OEM the OEM cabin filter. So this comes with two. If you have a Model 3, you don't have you don't have the bio defense mode. And the new Model Y, you have bio defense mode, but it's not on as default. You actually have to activate it. So it does burn up more energy when you do that. But this allows you to use day-to-day -day activity. It filters out all the particles up to N98. And you're not familiar with that, it also eliminates um, actual toxic films versus the Tesla OEM, which doesn't do that. This is a certified part, so it's been through validation. The kits come with a hex wrench, a pry tool, and also a socket in case you want to remove the bolt. Uh, if it has a bolt. Depends on which model you have. So we'll be using a pry tool for this US made Model 3 and this he hex wrench. So anyone can do this. You don't have to be a technical person to install this. So let's place this to the side. This is just a certification card and instruction. So it does come with nice detail photographic instruction card right we'll place this aside lift the two filters here the pry tool first step to installation is you want to prop these clips underneath the footwell here so there's one right there and go ahead and place it in your cup holder or somewhere safe so you don't lose it there's another one here so there's a total of four three towards the right side and one on the left side. So we got two, there's one more there. And this is a little groove that you place the pry tool inside it before you can pull out the actual clip itself. There's one on the left right there. All right, so once you have it all unclipped, go ahead, use the other side of your pry tool. Get some leverage, pull this down. Don't worry, this is not the part where your airbag is. This is just nice soft foam insulation. Pull out this footwell ambient lighting. And you have a speaker here, you can disconnect as well. Just pull it right out so you can remove this cover. Next, as you see, I don't have the floor mats here, but you do need to pry this open. So using a pry tool that they provide you, you want to start from the top here, work your way up, and then use your finger, work your way down. You might see some clip that comes off. Don't worry. Just put it back and put this aside. So for the older Model 3, you do have the hex screw behind this cable here. It's actually located up top right there. Silver. And you can use their tool to go ahead and unbolt that by turning counterclockwise. The new Model 3 and Y is actually located in the bottom, which is easier to get to. So you have the new ones. I think they started doing that in 2020 or 2021.
So as you can see, I'm struggling here. Um, the best position to get to this is have your knee and half your body outside the vehicle and starting from your hips in, lean towards inside the vehicle. Oops. So I'm not gonna edit any of this video just to show you how to change this in raw material. So just bear with me. And this is real life. I mean, somebody asked to do no editing just to see how long it takes. And again, I'm doing this one hand. So it's, it's a little bit more chall challenging than it looks. All right, I'm gonna have to put this camera down because I can't do it one hand. So let's go ahead and place this camera. Hopefully you still can see it, but there you go. Get some lighting in here. So now my back is actually on the door sill, which is not comfortable. All right, and feel free to for it. You don't have to wait, but if you want to see the whole process, I mean, I'm not out of shape or anything, but it's just how you position inside the vehicle. This makes it harder to maneuver this hex screw. So just make sure you don't unscrew it all the way. You don't want to drop this. So you just want to unscrew it slowly until it gets loose and then just catch it when it's coming down. This is the hardest part. So there you go. So it's coming down. All right. As you can see there, came down, there's the hex screw. All right, I didn't lose it. It's just on the carpet. And then you just remove this. And then you have tabs. This is also aftermarket. This is actually from another company. Very similar. All right, so that's one. There's another one. This one you want to pull up and out. Up and out. All right. Ugh. Okay, let me find that screw before I lose it. So there's that screw. Let's go ahead and place it aside. Place all this old filter aside. See, oh, change color, it looks moldy. Okay, so that filter has been in there for about two years. Yeah, I probably should have changed this sooner. So they recommend you change this every, every nine months or so. It doesn't matter how long you drive. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get this installed. So let's go ahead and get this unpacked. Let me unpack this bag. Again, this is from Tomei. Hold on, let me put the camera down. All right. Other one. So the Tomei brand is seal. You know it's good quality. This mesh you don't have to worry about. It's like a solid mesh, so the beats won't come off. 
you can see there has multiple layers of filtration and to install this it's just in reverse order so you want to place this you want to place this tap on the top right okay don't mess this up if you do you're gonna have a hard time getting out or it's gonna be stuck in there and you're gonna need somebody some tools to get out but i haven't done that highly recommend following this direction carefully so getting in there is a little tricky you sort of have to wiggle your way around this cable wire there you go and then just have it horizontal hold on to the tap while you press in and let it drop there's the tap top top right so now let's get the other one in so this baby blue is facing towards the front and that is it so now you just close this cover So do everything in reverse order, screw it back. And again, this is from Tomei. So I don't want to bore you any longer, but that's exactly how you install cabin filters. So it takes about 10 minutes or so. Um, once you put everything back, just do it in reverse order. Thanks for watching. I post a link where you can find this with a big discount code in the description of this video. Catch you on next time.